Good afternoon. Welcome to Yoga in Abstention number 23, brought to you by Yo uh, Saving Resources, our videographer Dave and artistic consultant Dave. Absolutely. How are you today? Good. And uh -huh. I'm Madeline, your yogi. Okay, today we're going to remember to initiate movement by starting the breath first. It's a really hard concept, but I figure if we practice it, someday we'll get it. Maybe even in my own lifetime. Okay, uh, you'll need a chair and there will be partial standing and you might want to get a block. So, we'll start by using the breath and kind of connecting with that leading movement by starting the breath first. Stack your palms, go ahead and sit back, but keep a nice tall spine and let's just soften our eyes as we gaze out in front of us and begin to breathe in and to breathe out. As we do, Move your arms and imagine expanding your belly to the side and exhale, closing. Do some arm raises and twist uh, back and forth. We'll be mindful of moving the spine in all five directions in this practice today also. So start breathing and exhale, twist. Inhale and lift, twist. And back to the center. Circle your arms. Let's start big circles going in one direction first. Nice big circles. And then slowly get those circles smaller and smaller. And reverse the flow. Big circles. Nice full range of motion in the arms and then begin to come slower, smaller, 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 you little itty bitty ones. Great. Scoot forward a little bit for some seated cat uh, cows. So come forward and as you do, let's arch the back so that we're trying to touch the back of our chair. And inhale forward for cow. Exhale, cat. Feeling it right here in your tricep, okay? Rotate your wrists. Let's work those hands a little bit. This is great, especially if you have a little arthritis in your hands. <coughs> Switch up the circle. And then open, make a fist. Open, make a fist. Open, make a fist. One more. Open, make a fist. Now coming back to the center, lift that arm up and guide it so that you can bring that hand back in between your shoulder blades. Lengthen the spine. It really helps if you lift up in your spine, sitting just as tall as you ever you can. Okay? Now, if you're feeling really frisky, you might just give this elbow a little pull so you even stretch that triceps more. And come down. Okay, right arm comes across the body. Hug it in. Rotate that wrist going in one direction. And then switch it up going in the opposite direction. And then open, squeeze, close. Open, squeeze. Really spread the fingers. Squeeze one more. Open and close. Coming back to the center. Straighten the spine and guide this arm back. 
Let that hand come in between the shoulder blades. Lift nice and tall. Notice if one side feels different from the other. This side feels tighter. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. One more breath in and out. And relax it down. Okay, we're going to do some standing now. So, come on up. Got me in the picture, Dave? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to do a, a ha breath, or actually it's like a ha breath, only it's called fists of fire. So it goes <clears> like <throat> this. Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> okay, join me. our chair pose. So nice breath as we lift up, lengthen, exhale back into our chair. Inhaling, lift, exhale back into chair. And lift. This is three, four, last one, five, And come up. This time we'll sit back in chair and we'll do a twist on each side a couple of times. So sit back in chair with your palms together in prayer pose, turning towards your left, center, to your right, center, to your left, twist, twist to your right. One more time. Legs getting tired, point our twist. And last time, and come to standing, coattails. Just let it go. Breathe and let it go. And come to seated, make sure your chair is there. Okay, this is a seated lunge. If you're comfortable coming down onto the floor and coming into a lunge, that's great. Um, I'm doing the chair one because my knees are killing me today and I know some of you have knee issues. So turn in your chair and drop be your left knee down and come on your toes. Okay? This, I know this is my right day, but looking from your perspective no. is left. <laughs> okay. Okay, inhale, lift and back. Lift and back. One more. Lift, really lengthen and back. Now placing your hands on your knees, go into cat pose. Now if you go into cat pose and really, really exaggerate it, you will feel a stretch in your quad. It's all connected. And come on up switching sides. This will be your right leg. Drop it down, you're on your toes oh, in the back. It'll be their left leg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Lift and down. Lift and down. And lift and down. Bring your hands forward, go into cat. Once again, feeling a stretch in this quad. You might want to use your block here. You can use it at any height. Widen your feet about mat width apart, toes pointing out. Scoot forward a little bit and slide down your legs to wherever you're comfortable. So you can come down to your ankles, you can come down to your block. Find your spot wherever it is Feeling a nice deep stretch in your hip crease and the inside of your legs. Drop the crown of the head and take a couple of nice breaths. Now 
Now we're going to come up very carefully by placing our hands on our knees and then pushing ourselves up, not to strain our back. Okay, extend your left leg out. Put a flex in your foot. Take a nice breath in and swoop forward for a forward fold. Hoping we're gonna reach the hamstring here. Nice stretch. And then walk your way up and switch sides. Lengthen your leg out, turn your body and slide down to your place of comfort. Flexing in the foot. Breathing nice and deeply, nice deep breaths. walking yourselves back up. Okay, the next is going to be a pigeon pose. So bring your ankle above that knee. Flex the foot. Scoot forward a little bit. Now we're used to doing pigeon pose like this, right? I've got a new deliciously excruciating way to do it now. So you, it's called the wave the pigeon. We did the wave when we first started. So hinge forward to the side, around, and back. It seems to get every single little spot very efficiently. And if this is too much, you can go back to the old pigeon style. Okay, and then hinge forward, hold, take two nice deep breaths, remembering Start breathing before you hinge forward. Exhale. Okay, opposite side. <clears throat> Ankle comes, foot is flexed. Hold on, lengthen the spine and begin the wave. Nice circles. Sitting bone to sitting bone. Move forward as far as you can. And now let's rotate go in the opposite direction. Okay, hinge forward. Inhale and up. Hinge forward. And inhale and come up. Good. Now, how about the wisdom for the day? <clears throat> it's about gratitude. Today I will practice gratitude. I will get in the habit of saying thank you, even for the problems in my life, because these challenges are valuable lessons I can learn from. Gratitude is the key that turns problems into blessings and the unexpected into gifts. Namaste, everybody.